Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. Weekly energies, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs, and Venus. First week in January. Let's see, loves, what we have. As well, to not forget, we do have a full moon in Cancerian, fellow water energy, first full moon of the year. And yes, starting the year with a full moon. Mercury in retrograde gives everyone, not only you loves, a sense of really viewing certain things, probably from the last year, from the last period you gone through certain things, and so on. Yeah, definitely here. Six of Cups jumped. I believe there's another zodiac sign who jumped a card. And that, I believe, is the Gemini. For some of you, might connect with the Gemini. It doesn't really count that. But Six of Cups, certain things here, past-wise, needs to be reviewed. For some of you, Pisces, to your luck or not, somebody might come back into your life. But let's see, loves, what is all about in here. Yeah, look at this moon. There's something here I feel like not quite what's supposed to. Eight of Pentacles and Ace of Cups and the world. Yes, definitely here there's something here you are learning. And for some of you, you don't want to dwell in a past situation. For some of you, you are learning from a past situation. But indeed here, there is some, some kind of closure moment. For some of you, yes, you, you're probably working on a closure moment. Could be work-wise, study-wise. And feels like takes forever. There's something here feels like it's so long, but you've done more than it's still to be done. King of Swords, Tower, Two of Wands, and Five of Cups. Definitely here, something new, looking for the future. But I feel here also there's certain plans come to you. But feels like the need to review those plans or rethink certain things. Could be short term, could be long term. The tower moment here. Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, Page of Wands. Yes, there's certain news coming in for you and feels like there's a plan change. There's some something here that what I thought is, is not quite. The Five of Cups, Judgment, Ten of Pentacles, and the Hangman. I feel here, whatever here doesn't come to you the way you would like to is actually protecting you from a situation. For some of you, you know, rejection is protection, but I feel here it's more likely redirection towards something else. Because with the hangman, I feel here you need to see these things a little different. If something here didn't go, it's because you are lead to something better. All right, loves. Whatever that is, indeed, it's something better. kind of reflect, redirect, because there is something new out there. Indeed, many, many Pisces are heading towards a new energy, totally new. And that probably is the scary thing, because you never encountered this 
it's nothing like was before. The moon energy here, we have the Knight of Swords. The moon feels like, you know, fear, anger, and things like, why always gotta be a different way? Why always gotta be upside down for me? Or why I need to start from the, the end, going to the beginning? Why can I be like everyone? Well, you might be quite special. And many, many times when you feel that certain things doesn't go, instead of being like, why me? Why I gotta go through this? is like, give me science, the universe what I can do better, what I can improve. Let's see. As well, many, many Pisceans, your intuition speaks quite strongly to you. The best advice taken for you for this week, we have Nine of Cups, Knight of Cups, Emperor, and the World. Six of Pentacles. The fact is, whatever it's here, the universe tries to put you on a path that definitely you will lead. And it's kind of like the leader and the follower. So you are not following something because you need to lead something. So that's a huge difference. So probably you are not given by the universe something because you are in there for much more. And sometimes it's hard to understand certain things because we we probably are not quite comfortable. But definitely it's something you ask probably many years ago. With the Emperor here, Mars energy, you know, Mars is in retrograde in the 90 degree zodiac of yours, the Gemini. So Mars, Mercury doesn't really help into seeing very well those new beginnings. Quite the opposite. But I feel here it's a great time to reflect. Should I really do this or should I do something else because I feel here something for for the Pisces I'm speaking is like doesn't really add up how yes feels like a puzzle feels like there's no enough pieces but soon enough you will see give it time loves give it time step into your power you are strong beyond measure and wise leader, you are bacon for others. That's what I'm saying about followers and leader energy. You are not a follower, you are a leader. So you need to step up. Your mission, your way to go forward is not the way you probably want it or plan it or, or have seen it. It's something else. For some of you, let's give an example. You finish your studies in a domain, no matter what, and you want it to go to work for someone. The universe is telling you, create your own self, create your own job. Freelancing, do your business or create a business or something like that. Because whatever here is given to you, is to put you in a better light yet it's very hard to see it right now but they are blessings once you step up they are beautiful blessings so expand your horizons loves vast vistas because there is definitely much more there for you expand you're not in a box your box you've been into or you are into you're quite out outgrowing it there needs more for you loves and definitely you probably know so Pisces yes 
you probably are mad of me sometimes if I'm saying the straightforward words, but indeed here what I'm saying is not a lie. You definitely deserve more. But I feel here you need to step up. The comfort zone, it's a zone where many, many are great feeling and many are not. But now you are growing up. That being said, Pisceans, I thank you so much for coming forward. Love and light. And see you next time. Namaste.